One of the few no kill shelters in the greater Houston area is facing its biggest fear tonight because it is now at 250% over capacity. Fox 26's Randy Wallace files this report from Rosenberg. To say Fort Bend County Animal Services is overcrowded would be an understatement. We know that this is throughout the country. Um, all shelters are extremely full. A lot of shelters are making difficult decisions. But the Fort Bend County shelter could have to make its most difficult decision in years. Euthanize to make space. For more than five years, Fort Bend County Animal Services has touted a 90% live release rate. We've been successful in getting animals out any which way you can think of, whether it's rescue, transport, adoption. Overflowed completely. What the shelter is seeing now is unprecedented. All the kennels are full, many with two dogs. Pop-up crates line the hallways and fill offices. We can house around 90 or so dogs. And we probably have, today we have 232 dogs. So we are about 250% over capacity. The record-breaking number of dogs is taxing on staff. We're trying to figure out where do we put this one and where do we put this one. And then when they're in the black crates, you got to make sure you keep exercising them and get getting them out as well. The shelter is full of great dogs, all different breeds, big and small, and every pup is free. Some of the dogs have been in the shelter for more than a year. They need to get into people's loving homes, not, you know, not, not live in the shelter for the rest of their lives. All dogs are spayed or neutered, microchipped and vetted. I became the director about eight years ago. I mean, that's, that's what we've been striving for, um, to, to, to save them all. But for the first time in more than five years, the shelter might have to euthanize some of these dogs just to make space. It's difficult. It is really difficult because, I mean, they're not just numbers, you know, they're lives for us. You can help by fostering. Victoria Brockett is fostering to adopt. We see that they are overcrowding because this is a no-kill shelter, which is great. But we need more people to please come and help. If you want to know what you can do to save a life, we've got a link for you on our website. Reporting from Rosenberg, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.